Hi everyone, how's it going today? Nancy here, just wanted to uh, tell you about something that it was like a light bulb going off in my head when I saw this, okay? Um, as you all know from watching prior videos, I've been laid up um, with my broken arm. Haven't been able to do a whole lot. Hello Fluffy, did you join our video? Haven't been able to do a lot. Um, so my husband's been doing any eBay shipping and I'm, I don't do, I don't go out and buy stuff to sell on eBay. Really? I mean, if I see something and I'm like, wow, that's 50 cents. I know I can get 10 bucks for that on eBay. I will pick it up. But 99% of what I sell is stuff that I have in my attic. I have bins of stuff in my attic. I am a mom of six kids. So we have Goosebump books, we have um, Dr. Seuss books, we have chapter books, we have Babysitter Club books, we have all kinds of books, okay? Um, bins of books, bins of stuffed animals, bins of clothing, bins of this, bins of that. Five girls and a boy, and I cannot tell you the stuff we have. Bins and bins and bins and bins and bins of Legos, um, Nerf guns, crazy stuff. We have three PS2s, or at least we have PS3, we have PS4. We have all the stuff that goes along with this stuff. Um, and that's not counting the stuff that I've accumulated over the years and stuff people have given me um, that I don't use. It sits around in cupboards. A couple months ago, one of my shelves in my china closet gave away and a lot of my crystal broke. And it made me think, I'm just going to sell some of this crystal that I don't really care about anyway. Um, it's really expensive. I bought it from Princess House and other places. And I said, well, I'm just going to sell some of this and uh, get some of my money back for it. It all starts breaking. And I got rid of a lot of it. So. Like I said, 99% of it is, is my stuff, my own stuff. But since I've been hurt, my husband's been shipping it. And I had a lot of things listed before getting hurt. So when things were selling, he was having to, to deal with all that. Finding it, shipping it, printing the label, all that stuff. I was trying to walk him through it, but I was in a lot of pain and on pain meds. So it was not easy for me to do and it wasn't easy for him to follow my directions either. So I, I haven't been listing anything since I've got hurt. I've just been letting the things that I had listed run their course and sell out or, or not sell so that he didn't have to deal with it on top of he's been doing everything the shopping working taking care of the kids and the grandkids and the laundry and the cooking and the cleaning and the errands and the bills and everything and waiting on me hand and foot um everything i mean so just got my cast off a couple days ago and hopefully i'll be able to start doing some things on my own um less and less on him but still as I was hurt and laying there it was really frustrating to me that I couldn't get stuff listed I had stuff piled up around me um, not really piled up around me but I could see them um, from my bed I could see them from the sofa things that I had had to get picked, photographed and listed and things that nobody wanted um, my son brought me like three different shirts out of his drawer one day and said, none of these shirts fit me. What do you want me to do with them? You just got them. Well, they're tight. He says, I don't like them. Get rid of them. I had so many things I wanted to take photos of and list. Um, and I'm thinking about all the things in the attic that I'm trying to list and, and dis, you know, disperse of. So it was really frustrating to me that I couldn't list it and everything because it was too hard for my husband to find the stuff. So anyway, I was started watching videos on YouTube and stuff like that because I like YouTube better than I like television. Um, you don't get all that drama and craziness. I mean, you can find it on YouTube, don't get me wrong, but click on the channels you like and you'll watch positive things. And I only want positive things in my life. I don't want all that negative stuff in my life. So anyway, 
I'm watching a video um, on organizing tips and I want to give a shout out to the person who was doing that video because watching that video it was like a light bulb going off in my head and I said oh my gosh I've got it I have always kept my stuff in bins like this okay um, and I have numerous bins in the attic one full of uh, I, I'll show you when the cat gets up I'll throw on the floor but this one's full of stuffed animals I have them full of books full of videotapes full of PlayStation stu 2 stuff full of everything you can think of bins huge bins full of clothing um, bins galore and every time I'd sell something I'd have to dig through these bins to try to find something because I wasn't organized in my bins I'd have a chia pet in with books you know for an example so it was really hard try to sell a bracelet and it's like oh my goodness where is it in this bin and when I list stuff, I'd try really hard to make sure it got to the bins and not just left laying around my house where nobody wanted it anymore so that I could have a better chance of finding it and somebody else wouldn't walk off with it. But just finding it in the bins was so difficult. And TY stuffed animal tags were getting damaged and stuff. So it was really getting frustrating. And I'm laying there thinking, I need to list this stuff. How could I do it? So, you know, maybe I could just list like three things and then he'll know exactly where they are. And then I watched this video, and like I said, it was like a light bulb going off. It was a big yay moment, and I said, I'm doing this. As soon as I can possibly do it, I'm going to do it. So I want to give a shout out to the channel called Just Ask Gladys. Hi, Gladys. Um, I watched your video with you and the girls, uh, your live chat there. I wasn't on it when it was live, but I, we were taking questions and whatnot, but I saw the video afterwards where you did you numbered your bins and I was like that is awesome and then you put the things in bags and you number the bag and I have a notebook um, ugh, I don't have the notebook right in front of me but I have a notebook where I write down bin now bin one item one bin two item one two three four five whatever and it is so awesome it's gonna be so much easier and I haven't done one thing of putting anything in the bins yet I just got the bins got the idea well I already had the bins but I went and bought stickers and I've been putting the stickers on I got them at the Dollar Tree um, I think I got 25 stickers for, for the dollar and then I also got these at the Dollar Tree for for also obviously a dollar each and I put these I decided to put letter stickers on I'm going to do these A, B, C because I won't need more than 26 of these. But I'm going to use, I'm going to get some that are a little bit deeper than this. Like they have them like twice as deep. Um, and I'm going to use these, one for jewelry, one for coins, one for uh, the thicker ones for ties, uh, things like that. And I'm so excited about these um, because it's going to be so much easier than having to dig through these big bins trying to find a bracelet, you know? And again, I'm going to list bin A, bin A, item one, two, three, four, whatever, how many things, and for jewelry, I'll fit quite a bit in there. And I can even see right through it to see, you know. So this is awesome. Thank you for, to Just Ask Gladys and the girls. I love, love, love this idea. Um, it, it's just, it's so much easier. I, I can't even begin to tell you. I wish I could take you and show you. I mean, Fluffy, you need to get up. You just need to get up. I'm sorry, baby. I know you were sleeping. I know. Just for a minute. I just want to show you in my bin here that I haven't put anything in bags yet. Everything's just put in here. It's just thrown in the bin, you know? It's just stuffed animal after stuffed animal. And if I told my husband, oh, I sold the brown teddy bear, he'd be like, which, which brown teddy bear? Or the T.Y. cat. This T.Y. cat? This T.Y. cat? You know? Um, not you. I'm not going to sell you. But, so, this is the first bin I'm doing, obviously. Bin number one. And I put everything in bags. These I'm going to use to store grocery bags. Um, and just write on a, with a permanent marker on the grocery bag. I'm going to get back on the bin. What's in the, what's in the bag. And then I'm going to write, like, Okay, bin one, number one, and I'll write in my book, white T.Y. stuffed plush, and write it on the bag, number number one. And it's going to be so much easier for me. And the same with these, I'm going to put all of these in Ziploc sandwich bags, the bracelets, the 
coins, whatever. So thanks for checking out my channel. Thank you very much to the channel Just Ask Gladys. Go check it out. Those girls are great. They know what they're talking about. They all got themselves organized. Wish I could bring all you girls here with me to help me get organized. Um, I think we'd have a really fun day doing it, but I know you guys aren't around Connecticut area. But thanks a lot. I'm really excited, and I will do a follow-up video showing you how organized I am with all these as soon as I can get through them all. There's a lot of stuff to get through and organized, and it's going to take me a while with just one hand, but I'm so excited to get started and get all this stuff organized and get it listed. So thanks for checking me out. Subscribe to my channel. Hit that like button and check out the channel Just Ask Gladys because she really, they, they inspired me to get up off the couch and start doing this. I, I can't, still can't hold a pen with my right hand, but I, I wrote with my left hand and I did pretty darn good. Got those stickers on there so I can do some stuff and I'm trying, trying, trying to get there. So thanks for all your well wishes and everything. Check out Just Ask Gladys, and thanks a lot, Just Ask Gladys and girls. I really appreciate it. It was such an inspiration. Got me motivated. Um, I'll let you know how I do. Hit that subscribe button. Have a great day, and remember, be kind.